This is Somnium Space. It's a VR social game, kind of like VR chat, but with tons of quality of life features, a super cool community, custom avatars, music events, full body tracking, a better VR camera, and much more. I'm going to give a quick rundown on how to bring over your custom avatars from other platforms like VR chat. The process is pretty easy and takes less than five minutes, especially if you've used Unity before. This will be just a basic rundown. I'll go over more advanced stuff like animations and importing custom props in future videos. First, before we get started with importing custom models, Somnium Namespace does include a built-in custom avatar maker using Ready Player Me, so you can take a picture of yourself and it'll pop out a simple 3D character that you can customize. You can also use the hundreds of public models in-game, and there's a wearable prop system, so you can make any public model your own just by adding stuff directly in-game on the avatar without having to have any knowledge of Unity. Let's get started with converting your own custom model from VRChat or any other platforms you've used. This will be a basic overview of converting your model. I'll go over more advanced stuff like adding animations and props and future videos. You will need Unity Hub installed, which you should already have if you've made avatars before. You'll also need your FBX or model file along with the textures. First, go ahead and download the Somnium Space SDK from the website. I'll leave a link in the description. Unzip it somewhere on your PC. Now open up Unity Hub and under the Projects tab, click Add, then Add Project from Disk and choose the Somnium Space SDK that you downloaded. You might get a pop-up asking if you want to download a new Unity version. Click Yes, and once that finishes, you can open up the project. When Unity opens, you'll get a few pop-ups here with some information helping you to get started, but we're going to be focusing on avatars. If you get a pop-up in Unity asking you to download a new version of the SDK, go ahead and click accept. There will also be a default avatar set up in the scene for reference. You can go ahead and hide that in the inspector window for now. Now make a new folder in the project window, call it whatever you want, and then drag your custom model and textures into that folder. If your model is FBX, make sure it's on humanoid and then drag it into the avatar scene. The shaders will probably look weird, but we can fix that. You're going to need to change every single material on your avatar to the universal render pipeline shader. For anime style avatars, I like using Unlip, but there's a lot of options for different types of models. You might need to reselect your textures for each material, but that should fix your model and make it work in game. You can also adjust the height of your avatar. You don't have to do anything special for full body tracking. It should just work in game and Somnium Space is compatible with all different types of trackers. Now we'll need to add the SDK to your avatar. So go ahead and click on your model in the avatar scene. Under the inspector window, click add component and then type in avatar SDK. SDK config. Now you'll want to name your avatar something, give it a description, and capture a screenshot. For the gender, select whatever you want. You can also adjust the camera view position if needed. It should be fine on default, but you may need to tweak it. Under the advanced tab, you'll want to add your lip sync. For most VR chat avatars with blend shape setup, you can select visemes and then under viseme mesh, click auto detect and it should find your lip visemes. Ignore the animations and gestures tab for right now since we're not doing animations. All right, we should be good to upload this avatar. You can click on used features to see what features your avatar is using. You'll also need to sign into your Somnium Space account under the packages manager, then click build and upload. It'll take about a minute, but then you should have your avatar in game and we can go check it out. You can open up Somnium Space in VR or desktop and the desktop version is actually much better than VR chat because you can just automatically see your avatar in third person in every world. So it makes it much easier to test out avatars. When you're in game, press tab if you are on desktop, then go to the avatar section and click under new custom avatars. And there we go. You have your avatar in Somnium Space. Let me know if you guys found this video helpful and I could do more advanced tutorials like adding animation props and stuff like that. You can also customize your model even more in game by using wearables. You can use the public ones available to the community or you can purchase specific ones from creators. Have fun.